so I've got no mascara on because I want to show you this mascara which is the new by Terry Lash Expert Twist Brush so my friend um, Carmen made me buy it she makes me buy things all the time <laughs> I wasn't convinced this is nothing new I had long time ago um, drugstore masca mascara like this I'm sure it was from bourgeois I'm not sure um, but basically this is two-in-one mascara so when you take it out the wand is like this then you twist it and the one gets shorter and fatter and the idea is to get the length with this then twist it and get the um, volume so I received this mascara I put it on and I thought yeah it's nice but nothing special and I was talking to Carmen, my friend, and I said, yeah, it's nice, but I don't feel I'm getting all this volume. She said, well, use it other way around. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Uh, she said, use the twisted uh, wand first and then the longer one. And that really made the difference. It looks really nice. And I really, really like this mascara. It stays on all day. It's lovely. Um, before I put that on, let me just tell you, I've been using the, so you know I've been testing different eyelash serums um, and the follow-on lashes did not work for me and I started using the Real Lash and this is working. So I've been using it over two weeks and my lashes are definitely getting longer. So I'm sure this is working. So let me show you now so i'm going to twist the mascara first and do it with the shorter one first maybe i should zoom you in a bit okay so it's a lovely mascara it doesn't clamp your lashes so you can really keep building it up So I will do that, I will dip, dip it again and go to the other eye and now I'm going to straighten it, dip it again and I'm going to go over it and you can go over it hundreds of times. So it, it does stick them a bit but I quite like it. Um, if I have a, a mascara that really fans out my brushes like almost separates every single lash then I feel I have just that black solid eyelash if you know what I mean and you can't really see my eyeshadow and my lid so I quite like them being a bit pointy like this so i can see the eyeshadow through it i like the formula it's not too wet you know when the mascara is too wet then while you're putting it on it gets all over your eyelid and stuff so you can really build it up it's not very good for the the very big to do your bottom lashes though and you know i like to put a lot of mascara on it is um it, it is not the easiest mascara to remove when you're taking your makeup off but that might be because i put so much on but as you can see i can keep building it and it doesn't really get much more clumpy I find it a bit too big for my bottom lashes anyway so there you go I really like it and this is uh, 
this is not as expensive as by Terry products um, because I don't want to say this is like his value um, line but it's a bit cheaper no it's not it's still very expensive mascara but it's nice okay so that's the mascara i am so excited to tell you about this and on one hand i don't want to tell anybody because i worry that it's gonna sell out so do you remember in one of my monday hauls videos i've shown you the olay pro retinol eye treatment and i bought it after watching nadine baggett and her interview with someone who helped formulate it and it had very promising claims so of course i bought it i've been using it now for about three weeks and oh my god this is a miracle uh, so i use it um i was using it first just at night and in a day i was using the color science total eye that i've reviewed for you as well the the eye cream that treats the eye and also brightens it straight away so it could be combination of these but um my eyes have improved so much already and um it's not so much the lines you know that will take obviously much longer but i obviously there is not only retinol in here there is some other mixture of peptides and um great great ingredients but when i wake up in the morning i feel like i've had fillers my i mean look my bags are almost non-existent they are there still there but i feel like i felt after having a filler and i haven't had a filler for ages or botox i can't actually remember i'm gonna look back when i had it done and i put it here down on a screen um but i know it's been a while because my botox lady just texted me saying that I'm, i am due for the next treatment and i told her um, and I actually told her I'm not going to have it done because I'm testing this eye cream and she also wanted to know what eye cream it was and I'm glad I didn't because you know with the last filler I mean the bruise that I had I told you I feel like I still have this discoloration from it and also afterwards when the filler is going I felt that my eyes looked a bit more baggy and, and like loose and one of you actually said yeah it's probably because when you fill up that loose skin with filler and then filler goes you stretch the skin so the skin is probably even looser then so that makes sense so I I was thinking to have the filler done with cannula but I wasn't rushing to have it done so anyway what am I actually do tomorrow morning when I wake up and I have no makeup on I will show you a video myself and I will insert it here okay so I've only been up for like 10 minutes I thought I show you my under eyes I don't know how well you can see this is in a sorry I'm so tired <laughs> this is um, in a daylight um, I've got a window here um, so yeah hopefully you can see it I feel like um, it's much plumper than it was still have the lines but they still look better as well I don't know um let me know what you think so yeah tell me i'm not crazy somebody i don't know if anybody bought this cream and have been using it actually when i hold this cream in one of my Monday videos one of you left me a um, comment saying I love this cream I've been using it for two weeks and I already can see a difference so I know that it works for another person but if anybody else bought it and you can tell the difference because I think I'm going crazy I like don't want to believe it but honestly 
can you see it even my lines are not that visible it might be because it's plumping up the the under right area i am i'm going to go and buy two more i'm just like scared now that it's going to sell out or something or they discontinue it um and also uh, right now this one because i think this is exclusive to boots here in the uk um and i think is it right now the price price is 19.99 which is 10 pounds less than it will be originally so if you're planning on buying it now is the time to buy it now in the us you've got exactly the same cream but it comes in a red tube you know we have the same products but sometimes they are packaged different i don't know what the reason is but you have that cream in us but it's in a red tube i will leave you the links to it anyway so yes i it's like a miracle i almost don't want to believe it but every morning i wake up and i look at myself in a mirror i'm thinking oh my god what's happening to my under eyes you know i'm sure this helps as well um so i used to i started using it just at night and then I thought, no, I'm going to do it twice a day because you can do it twice a day and you can go right under your eye. And then in the morning, um, I use this first and then I top it up with that because I get SPF here, remember? Sorry, the family's moving around the house. Paul is just about to take Max to, to work. What? Oh my God. Too late sorry did you see that did you see paul running um we had a quick emergency louis was just running to the back door and he was sick he sometimes brings up you know like that bile in the morning so <laughs> it was an emergency and i had to put the doormat now in a wash anyway too much information what was i saying oh in the morning yeah i put this on and then i put this one on because you know apart from having other goodness eye goodness in it it has that slight tint to it and it has spf of 35 which is so important especially under the eye i've never ever in fact seen an eye cream with spf so that's what i'm using um the only thing is uh what i can tell you about it so what, how i use it it's got really lovely like pointy thin applicator so i gently squeeze it and like dot it around my eye and then pat it in i've noticed after a few days that um, when i was putting it on or maybe something on the top of it it would be slightly stinging because it is retinol they say it's without retin uh, irritation but you know everybody is um, has different level of tolerance to retinol so it doesn't bother me it's not like um it's not like really stinging but that's probably slight irritation from retinol so if you find that um then just lay off of it do it every other night or something like that you know just go with it it's, it's not peeling my eyes so it's not making them red i just felt a bit of stinging uh, which is quite normal for retinol um so yeah but this is like my gold now um i'm i'm going to try to um use it on paul as well paul has quite baggy eyes now so we'll see if that will work for paul so i was so excited to tell you about it i wanted to tell you earlier but i i wasn't believing it i was like mm, maybe i've just woken up today with you know good eye bag day or whatever but i'm sure now that this is already working and please please if any of you had similar experience let me know so i don't think i'm crazy <laughs> okay um actually let me tell you about things that i'm wearing that i have on because people always ask me and i've said it many times if i'm wearing something jewelry or clothes that i know you can still buy i always link it down below if i don't it means you can't get it anymore it's old and i haven't been really buying any clothes lately i bought a couple of sweaters you know from in velvet but that's about it so i tell you now so i don't have to put it in a description box 
this sweater you've seen it before is quite old it's almost like two seasons ago um, and that was from club monaco monaco this is this was sold out for ages so you can't get it my necklace that i often wear this one um we bought it in dubai when we were in dubai years and years ago um my earrings which i really love they were a gift from my friend and i think they they are uh, sheila fajo um earrings but I don't think she sells those anymore so that's it now with my makeup oh that's what I wanted to show you I've bought a new MAC eyeshadow so you know the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette um, my I think it's in Naked 3 yeah no maybe or the second one no the three um, my favorite eyeshadow in it is Nuna and Urban Decay doesn't sell it in singles and I love the eyeshadow I, I always this was always first eyeshadow that would go from my Naked 3 palette so I started looking for a dupe for it and I looked I think on um, was it Google Images on Pinterest and someone said that the MAC haul is a dupe so I bought it and it is lovely um, I don't even know how to describe this shadow it's like a taupey mauvey and it is matte so that's what I have um, in my crease and under my eye and my shimmery thing is that Kiko cream eyeshadow that I've shown you the other day so yeah I love this eyeshadow are you going to work now yes Max is going to work it's snowing today it's it started getting nice and warm and it's cold again hello hello <laughs> bye have a good shift yes yeah, so i bought that what else did i buy okay so you know i had a sample of the laura mercier uh, foundation primer in radiance so i went and bought the full size i love it i was at first shut the door gently um i was at first quite worried that you know because it's very radiant uh, you've seen me using it i think the sample oh well, did i already have that no i didn't did i um i was worried that it would make me look all greasy after a while and it doesn't it doesn't at all it's beautiful i love it and then i bought um the charlotte tilbury legendary brow um i forgot how much i love this thing i still have a bit left but it's on its last legs from my last one mine one is in um, linda um i forgot how much i love it so i bought a new one because like i said the other one is going the brush is so so minute so what i do before i do anything to my brows i brush them uh, with that to sort of prep them it gives you this thing is so brilliant if you already have brows but they might be a bit light that will give you color and like definition and honestly but for me, obviously on its own, this is not enough, but I love to prep my eyebrows with it. I can see then better all the hairs that I have, and then I go with the pencil over it. And it also sets your brows a bit. So when I prep my brows, it, um, cause it is gel, so it makes your eyebrow hairs a bit stiffer. So when I go with the pencil, you know, it's not all slippery. So you wait a bit for it to dry and then I go in with the pencil. Okay, my lovelies, I think that's it for today. I'll, I'm sure I will see you throughout the week. Um, run out and get that Olay cream, get it or regret it. And please, please, again, if any one of you used it, let me know that I'm not going crazy, that it's actually doing something. Okay, my lovelies, I see you another time. Bye. Good morning, everyone. So I've got a few more things to show you. 
I am obviously now on Maybelline's PR list. I just have received this beautiful box and this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. They like liquid lipsticks. Um, so these are already out but this is like um, the new colors which are called Unnudes and let me show this box is lovely obviously this is pr box so you don't buy it like this but let me show you here are all the lipsticks now i'm not going to swatch them because you can go onto my instagram i leave you a link to that particular post on my instagram where i swatch them on my arm but it just shows what a staying power they have because that was two days ago i've had a shower i've scrubbed it and it's still there so they they have amazing staying power now i've i've obviously tried a couple of them on and they feel very comfortable so as far as matte lipstick go liquid lipstick go they are very lovely formula really long lasting obviously but unfortunately none of these colors are my colors i would say uh, these you know these are very purpley gray so they are more high fashion colors i would say and all these even though they look like such lovely nudes they are very brown based very brown based so like i said have a look at the swatches on my instagram um this one was quite nice but it's a bit too dark for me so all i will tell you about them that the formula is lovely they even say that that there is one sold every minute since the launch so um obviously it is very popular and if you like like liquid lip lipsticks this one is very good i think liquid lipsticks come such a long way um, most of them are really nice formulas now but like i said unfortunately these are not my color colors i might have to look actually in a shop what other colors they have that would suit me but other than that they are very good liquid lipsticks okay i also received a beautiful card from lori thank you so much lori you've written me such a wonderful letter i really appreciate it i love that uh, thank you so much and I hope you make it to England and have a wonderful time. Don't come now, it's snowing again. And this card is just so beautiful. Look at it. It looks like it's almost on a piece of wood. It's from a company called Papyrus. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm definitely keeping that. I keep all your letters. Okay, so... I have run out and bought another one of the Ole Pro Retinol Creams. Like I told you, I'm so scared that it's, they're going to run out. And sometimes I usually order it from Boots Online or because sometimes you go to the shop and it's all sold out. So I got another one of those. Then I have bought Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize. And this is the like cream eyeshadow. I've got it on my eyes today. I've wanted to try it for ages since they've come out. Uh, but I wasn't sure about the colors. And so I went to a department store where they have Charlotte Tilbury. So I could actually swatch them and have a look. And I thought this one would be the one that I use the most. And this is in Jean. And it's like a gorgeous champagne color me swatch it for you they are so i mean i just took tiny tiny bit they are so creamy and tiny bit goes very very long way um they are not um sparkly they are not glittery they just give you almost that wet look beautiful i've used it on its own yesterday and today i've topped it off with I think kitten uh, still a kitten so you can use it alone uh, or you can 
top it off with an eyeshadow and it stayed on all day no problem it's just beautiful so they don't do any other light colors like that they do like a taupey brownie green i think and purpley one but this is just gorgeous where's my white by the way the top i'm wearing is very old it's from i don't even know uh, venice Be beach i bought it online probably not last summer but summer before or something like that so i'm sure this is not available anymore um my necklace as usual is the one that i bought years ago in dubai so you can't get that either okay another thing that i bought from charlotte tilbury is her eye pencil and i wanted to try this one for ages as well and there is a i wanted a brown one because I have a brown pencil, I think, from Maybelline, but it's a bit too slippery for me. I wanted one that almost acted, that I could make nice, thin line and even wing it a bit, almost like a liquid pencil, you know. I'm talking about the thickness of the line. And she has two brands. One is the one that I have, which is Audrey, and there is Barbarella Brown. So again, I didn't want to order it online because I didn't know which one I would prefer. So I looked in a shop and Barbarella Brown is the, um, like a gel, gel pencil. So it is very soft. It is almost like a liquid pencil, the set. Um, but it was very dark brown. It was almost black. And I thought, well, if I want something really dark, I just look bla uh, use black one. So I got the Audrey and there it is it is lovely really lovely pencil so i'm really happy with that and also when i was buying things from charlotte tilbury they gave me um two samples of the hollywood flawless filter which um is like a primer or you can use it in different ways you can use it under your foundation you can mix it with your foundation you can do it after your foundation to highlight i've got one in in two and three so i'm going to try it and um, see what it's like and if i like it better than the laura mercier primer that i've just bought what else did i get um then i bought really really good back combing comb and it's called the back comma by lee stafford so i love it it's very silicone and quite soft so that's what the teeth look like so it has like two rows of these longer teeth and then shorter little teeth inside and it's very very good it doesn't feel like it mats your hair um i really like it so i got that and then I got from Scunchi or whatever this is called, this um, hair clip. I don't know why, but it just looked cute and different. This is like a triangle. I thought it'd be a bit different if I want to clip my hair. Yeah, it's quite nice. Just a bit different. And it's very, you know, it doesn't really hold your hair that good so if you just wanted your hair off your face this is quite cute anyway so that's all i got oh on my lips today i have something totally different so i have the rimmel exaggerate lip liner in addiction and then i have the jade uh, lipstick in 195 nude sheer and then i just topped it off a bit with the Baxum celeste i just thought it went with that lovely corally orangey top oh i know what i was gonna tell you so um i remember a scene somewhere on youtube probably a year ago that you have somewhere where you can send unwanted makeup to women in refuge 
that uh, say escaped violent relationship and you know they say these women sometimes have to live in the middle of the night and take nothing with them and they have absolutely nothing and I was wondering if we have something like this here and I just came across um, this website where I don't know if it was Carolyn Herons um, if she found it um, she started it I'm not sure but I've heard it I've read it from her and we have something like this here and I've got the address it's a PO box address in London so I'm so excited I think I'm going to go now and go through my makeup and maybe some clothes as well and I'm going to post it because you know we are women we women love making ourselves look pretty it makes us happier and when you've had such a shitty life i suppose and you're left with nothing a little makeup can give you a little happiness and you know these women obviously will be starting their life over they usually have nothing no jobs no money so I find I, I think that will be very helpful so I will leave you this address as well so if any of you here in UK would like to do that then please do okay my lovely so that's it for now have a wonderful week and I see you very soon bye